Hey, this is Brett, and this 2024 Ram 2500 Mega Cab Short Box Ram Box Cummins Diesel Limited Level 1 Package is stock number 24T4. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck and especially Ram headquarters. This 2024 Ram 2500 has the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. It's paired up with the six speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. And this is one of the most expensive, highest MSRP Rams I have ever videoed. This one is over $103,000 and is really, really good looking and nice and fully loaded, of course. I'm gonna go all the way around, show you all the options, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna start it up and uh, turn off all the lights in the picture studio so you can see all these LED headlights and running lights and just how bright they are. Uh, this has the painted front and rear bumpers. You get the special sport hood, the gloss black grill, this is a night appearance package on top of being a limited. And the night appearance package gives you the painted bumpers, the 20 inch painted wheels. This one comes with Firestone Transforce AT tires. These are LT285 60 R20s. You get the fender flares with the limited package. You also get the blacked out 2500 Cummins and Ram logos. The new headlight, or I'm sorry, the new mirrors for 2024. Those power telescope out, they power fold in, and everything like that. Here is the original window sticker. Um, feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, uh, but most of it. 2024 Ram 2500 Limited Night Mega Cab 6.7 liter Cummins diesel, 6 speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. All of your standard equipment uh, is on the left here. Comes with nav standard, um, Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, uh, 20 inch wheels, painted bumpers, and that's all part of the night package. The optional equipment is the night edition, which is a $2,605 option. You get the black limited grill, the sport performance hood, and the 20 inch black wheels, as well as all the blacked out badges on the vehicle. Limited level one equipment group is a $7,030 option. You connect five with a 12 inch display screen, digital rear view mirror, truck bed cargo divider, four adjustable cargo tie down hooks by Mopar lane keep assist, center stop lamp with cargo view camera, LED bed lighting, full speed collision, forward collision warning plus, power deployable running board, 17 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, Ram charger, wireless charging pad, adaptive steering system, surround view camera, ram box, spray and bed liner, and the trailer reverse guidance. This one also has the anti-spin rear differential, which is $495. Cummins Diesel is a $9,795 option. Clearance lamps are $95. And this one also has the automatic leveling rear air suspension for $1,705. Your total MSRP on this truck is $103,180. Uh, like I said, one of the most expensive trucks I've ever videoed. And, uh, but I mean, wait till we get inside on this thing. This thing's got just about everything. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain, and you pretty good greenhouse gas rating and small grain of bees, uh, which are pretty good. A is the cleanest. We'll get into that interior in just a second. See these running boards? They do power deploy like that. And they power fold back in. You get the Ram box on here, which is pretty sweet. I think you can even fit golf, golf clubs in here. I've seen fishing rods. Um, they have plugs on the bottom so that you can fill these up with ice. And then it's like you have two mini coolers wherever you go or just extra storage space if you're not in Wisconsin. Anyways, those go back in like so. And you get lights back here and I think you got to have the truck on or something to get those to work. Anyways, that locks with the um, keyless entry. LED tail lamps, the painted rear bumper, 
Note the blacked out 4x4 RAM and limited logos. This one does have the power drop down tailgate, the backup parking sensors, full towing package, of course. And just for reference here, I wrote down the max tow capacity on this one is 15,638, and the max payload is 1636. I got those on Ram's tow guide website. Um, I'll link that in the description below because that's a pretty useful website. Seven pin wiring. And then this is part of your trailer reverse guidance system. You have a special plug for that. I think it's a 20 prong plug. Um, the tailgate, like I said, power drop down. It's never gonna slam down on you. You can open it with your key fob. You can open it from inside the truck. You get the Mopar spray and bed liner, the cargo um, organizer. It's also a bed extender, so you can put it on the back here and then uh, it extends the bed a little bit. You got the side box tie downs with the cleats there. LED bed lighting, this is where they put that button. And then you get the cargo cam up top as well. Those tailgates are really easy to lift. And four wheel disc brakes, of course. This one does have the auto leveling rear air suspension. And you can see that from back here. You get those big airbags back there. So as the, how this works is as you get a heavier load, it pushes down on that lever, which connects to that. And once it gets down a certain distance, um, it'll actually pump those airbags up. So it's kind of a cool system and uh, keeps your truck nice and level to give you better stability when you're hauling a heavy load. These mirrors are really cool. You get power blind spot mirror, LED side lights, the 360 camera, uh, directional signals, LED lights on the front as well, and blind spot monitoring. Uh, I'll show you the back seats real quick. You got those nice running boards. You get the trim on the kick plate there, all weather floor mats. These back seats are heated on the outboard side. You get the latch child safety system. And uh, these seats work, you know, just like all the mega cabs do. And they go down completely flat, which is really nice. You can put both sides down. If you've got pets, they have a nice flat place to lay. Even if you needed to take a nap back here, you could put both sides down. It's really nice and flat. Just put something down. You could actually sleep back here. There's enough room. And then you get storage bins under there. And then these seats also go like that so that you can have a higher floor and it also creates a contained storage area back there as well. Here are your heated seat buttons, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. These floor mats are carpeted, but you can make them truly all weather. Uh, kind of hard to... Anyways, these buttons snap. I can't believe how hard they are to get. There we go. So they snap down like that to make them completely all weather and then you can take that out, which is pretty cool. Get the st special stitching on the bolster there, the wood grain trim on the back, child safety locks on the back doors, special Harman Kardon speaker covers as well. They look really good. Inside, you get the black, fully leather bucket seats. On the Laramies, you, this is like a suede, but when you get the Limited, it's full leather. You get the gray piping on there as well. The stitching on the backrest of the seat too. Lumbar, both these seats are heated and cooled. All weather floor mats in the front. Auto headlamps, tilt, power pedals, power windows, locks and mirrors. Same stitching and wood grain on the doors back here. These mirrors do power fold in like so. And then you can power telescope them out by pressing that button. And you can actually control exactly how far you want it. You can by controlling it with these. So I can stop it at any point, which is pretty neat. Then you can control the bottom mirror as well. 
which is really cool too. Pretty neat, but that's, that's really nice, especially for the passenger side mirror. You also get the 12 inch instrument cluster on here with the digital speedometer, all the information controls and everything on there. Looks really good. Uh, heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, gear selector, Bluetooth and information center controls on there as well. And they get audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. You get the true wood grain trim on the top, Harman Kardon sound, of course, 12 volt power point. And then this one has the Uconnect 5 12 inch radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on here. These are all your apps. Here are your different sources uh, USB, USB 2, auxiliary, Bluetooth. You can hook up to any of those. It also has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. And then, of course, it has the Uconnect 5 factory navigation system. And this system is supposed to be five times faster than the old radios, the Uconnect 4s. And uh, you also have your different settings on here. And this is really a big thing is all these cameras. So you got your surround view camera, which is right here, your normal backup camera. And you got a wide view of the backup camera, a wide view of the front camera, a narrow view of the front camera just your normal backup camera. You can zoom in on your receiver hitch. Check out the bed. This is for an auxiliary camera if you had one on your um, trailer or boat or whatever. Then you have more cams down here. You have this driver's side blind spot mirror. You also have um, trailer reverse guidance. This is my favorite camera on the Rams. Now, if you were backing up a trailer and you wanted to look and see where you're gonna be backing that up to, that camera would just be amazing. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't want to go to the right. Anyways, you got your passenger blind spot mirror or blind spot camera, front cross path. So all those cameras there are uh, really a cool system to have. And then you have all your different apps on here including comfort, nav, phone, vehicle, uh, the off-road pages, which are pretty neat. I'll show you those in a second. You got all your cameras down here too, system, and then other, and then of course the off-road pages. Um, you get your steering angle, latitude, longitude, transfer case, altitude, accessory gauges, pitch and roll, uh, just a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this radio. Down here is your wireless cell phone charge pad, your factory brake controller. This is your alternate trailer height. So if you had, um, this is actually lowering the bed of the truck right now. If you had to get a trailer that was a little bit lower hooked up. Factory exhaust brake, tow haul mode, um, parking sensors. You can turn those off and on. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, and a 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, and your wireless cell phone and charge pad. You get coin holders, cup holders. You get the limited badge on the center console with the intricate stitching on there as well. Keyless entry, power drop-down tailgate, and remote start. You get the good-looking limited wood grain uh, glove box there. The speakers in the ceiling, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, um, map lights, power side and rear window controls, assist and SOS buttons. Like I said, you can power drop down that tailgate from outside or from inside the truck. And then this one has the rear view mirror camera and they've changed this switch here for 2024. It's actually a little bit smaller um, and it's a little bit more hidden. It's not as visible. And anyways, that's a video display of what's going on behind you. And if you don't want it, it's just a normal mirror. So that's really a cool system as well. All right, I'm going to turn on all the lights. And then we'll do a final walk around of the truck. And I guess I can start it up if everybody wants. And we'll take a look under the hood real quick. It's amazing how quiet these Ram Cummins diesels are. 
And like I said, I'm going to turn off all the lights in the studio so you can see just how bright this one is. Boy, it is a really good looking truck when all the lights are on. Uh, love the LED headlamps, the fog lamps, they are extremely bright. Uh, you get LED lights in the cab lights and the running lights on the mirrors as well. You can see just how nice they illuminate and just how far out they illuminate is really um, the big thing on the trucks here. There are the LED tail lamps and the LED license plate lights. Really good looking truck. And uh, like I said, I'll start it up and we'll do a final look under the hood here. Personally, I would like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify all the options, the looks, the styling of this particular Ram. Really a nice ride. Starts right up. And it is very quiet for a full-size, heavy-duty Cummins diesel. If you can remember what they sounded like in 02, I mean, we wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be able to talk here. 6.7 Cummins diesel paired up with the six-speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. There is the emissions sticker. And uh, really a good looking truck. Really a sweet ride. So what's kind of cool is you could take out that plastic piece and make this a true cowl induction. There's just two bolts there. It's kind of neat. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and heavy duty truck walkarounds on YouTube. Almost 9,000 videos and counting. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 2500 truck videos, all the Ram 2500 truck videos I've done in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2024 Ram 2500 Mega Cab Short Box Limited Level 1 Night Edition in bright white clear coat with the 6.7 Cummins diesel. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.